All right, so Daniel Tosh is known for having a show, Tosh.0. But did you know he's actually a fantastic stand-up comedian? Let's talk about it. I think Daniel Tosh is extremely underrated in the stand-up comedy department. I mean, he has his show that everybody knows and everybody's seen clips at the bare minimum. But nobody ever credits him for his stand-up comedy that much. I mean, he's got hilarious jokes and bits that are combined into one. He's like Anthony Jeselnik and Andrew Schultz combined, but just way smarter. I've never understood why he was never in the conversation. When you think of best comedians, you think of fucking Dave Chappelle, Bill Burr, Chris Rock, but everyone always neglects Daniel Tosh. I mean, I feel that Daniel Tosh could literally be one of the best comedians of all time if he really wanted to. He's making so much money with his show and doing things on Comedy Central that he doesn't really need to put up Netflix specials and other specials. I don't even know if he's allowed a Netflix special because of his contract with Comedy Central. I just want to see him host the roasts or whatever. Listen to this joke that he does. It is flawless and sped up, so no copyright. Listen. A lot of times people complain that their significant other takes too long to get ready to go out at night. I've never had that complaint. And I think it's because I never want to go anywhere. <laughs> so I could care less how long it takes her to get ready. That's just less time I have to spend with her horrible friends pretending I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. She'll take an hour and a half to get ready, come down and be like, oh my goodness, you were so patient. And I'll be like, for what? You look disgusting. <laughs> right? Yeah, now she's crying. Whatever, I bought myself an extra two hours to watch the game. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like she's gonna break up with me. She's 10 years younger. She's one opinion away from being replaced. <laughs> I can say that. I have a television show. Yeah. Daniel Tosh could sell out a show anywhere he goes. And in any place, too. Vegas, Idaho, even fucking Minnesota, if you wanted to. It's crazy. I mean, I think he should be in the just top discussion. What do you think? You think Daniel Tosh is at the top? Or do you think he's just a mediocre comedian that has some kind of funny concept to him? Let me know in the comments below, and please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.